It's an honor to be here, truly an honor. I, I, I'm honored to co-sponsor this legislation. One uh, reason I'm here today is for my wife and uh, her family who escaped uh, what was the che uh, Czechoslovakia at the time when she was four years old and her brother was two years old. Uh, they escaped, uh, they took uh, a, a one, one suitcase each, said they're going on a weekend vacation and never came back. Uh, their aunt and uncle tried to do the same thing the next week and were captured and, and jailed. Uh, in talking with uh, my wife's father about his experiences and why he was so passionate about coming to the United States and getting out of communism, he talked about the fact that, you know, it doesn't happen overnight usually, as was mentioned here. Uh, they take your freedoms away bit by bit and before you know it, it's all gone. So that's why this is so important that we're doing this today. Uh, for the last century, communism has left an ugly and a deadly legacy in the world. Since its creation, over 100 million people worldwide have died at the hands of communists, and countless more have starved, been tortured, or persecuted. We saw it under the tyranny of Vladimir Lenin, Mao Zedong, Joseph Stalin, Fidel Castro. Today, we still see the dangers of communism in China under the rule of the Communist Party there. As we stand here today, millions of Uyghurs are facing religious persecution, slavery, and execution. The threat of communism re is real and is important. We have the tools in place to combat it. This legislation is not a mandate, but it develops a comprehensive curriculum and creates materials so states, local governments, and schools have access to quality resources to teach about communism in the classroom. I want to thank again Congresswoman Salazar for her leadership on this issue, ensuring that the next generation is armed with the facts that will help combat the rising threat of China and further protect the world from the horrors of communism. Thank you.